Hello everyone, my name is Max, and today I'll be talking about Mario, the video game star of the 80s. For those of you that don't know, Mario has appeared in video games since 1981. Mario's first game was an arcade game called Donkey Kong, which Mario was a construction worker trying to save his girlfriend from a giant ape. In 1983, Nintendo released Mario Brothers, another arcade game, which featured Mario and his sidekick, or brother, Luigi. In most games since Mario Brothers, Luigi had been in many other Mario titles and was featured as his younger brother. After the original Mario Brothers, a sequel was never in doubt and was to be expected. Super Mario Bros. 2 had Mario and Luigi in a completely different setting where Luigi can jump higher and slip on blocks, um, almost making it look like as he was on ice. I really hate that p physic in my opinion at least. To be honest, I actually pretty hate this game, but now I really appreciate it at, as if it were the true sequel to Super Mario Bros. in Japan or the USA. Take a look at the first Super Mario Bros. And the second one. They look similar, right? Well, that's because of, of this guy, Takashi Tezuka, which thought that people were hardcore enough to beat the original Mario Bros and decided to make Super Mario Bros. 2, making it similar and, and a little different. However, Nintendo of America declined the Japanese Super Mario Bros. 2 due to it being too similar to the first game and how the difficulty was all the way up. So Nintendo decided to rework a Japanese title called Yume Kojo Doki Doki Panic and change it into a Super Mario sequel for North America and Europe, and call it a day. Nintendo also gave Luigi to be taller than Mario, and so he doesn't have to slip through things. During the development of Super Mario Bros. 2 for North America and Europe, they've, Nintendo has also been developing Super Mario Bros. 3. This has to be one of the most best Mario games I've ever played in my entire life as a kid. I've been growing up with these games ever since I was just a little kid. And today, they, re they really satisfy me. 1993, Nintendo made Super Mario All-Stars, which contains 16-bit versions of Super Mario 1, Japanese 2, USA 2, and 3. There's also another game in 1991 that was released on the Super Nintendo before Mario All-Stars, Super Mario World. Super Mario World is one of the most biggest launch titles that Nintendo ever made. Uh, well, 
Super Mario Bros. 3 is my personal favorite, but Super Mario World has a bigger overworld map than Mario 3, where you can choose your own path to the end of each area. Similar to Mario 3, except you can go back into levels whenever you want. While we're on the topic of Super Mario All-Stars, in 2017, this is the version I have, someone recreated Super Mario All-Stars to be on the Nintendo Entertainment System, which allows you to play Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, Super Mario Brothers 2, and my favorite, Super Mario Brothers 3. Although these games are platformers in a reskin of Doki Doki Panic, these games are love to the Super Mario community and Nintendo, and fans that enjoy the game. I hate to admit this, but Super Mario Bros. 3 was my first game I've ever played in my life. Super Mario Bros. and other Mario games are the best franchise that I've ever played, and possibly anyone else who thinks that this is the best franchise, then... Well, of course, then... I remember playing these games when I was a lot younger, but... There, we have other things today, such as Five Nights at Freddy's, Bendy in the Ink Machine, Tattletale, and Hello Neighbor. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.